Today we celebrate the 4,353rd anniversary of the Korean National Foundation Day. Gaechonjeol, when the first Korean state, Gojoseon, was formed in BC 2334. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Korea enjoy a long, steady, and strong friendship for the past 43 years. In political and military area, the first Korean National Assembly delegation consisted of three key members of parliament visited Bahrain on how to enhance cooperation between the two parliaments. The Korean Navy, led by Rear Admiral Yu byung joo who is present here tonight, took over command of, command of the C CMF Task Force 151 from June and successfully implemented its leadership role. In the economic field, the Korean GS Construction Company has been building the LNG import terminal at sea adjacent to Khalifa bin Salman port since 2016 and recently started a commercial, commercial operation. It is the second LNG terminal built at sea in the region. Samsung Engineering and Construction Company, one of the main contractors for the Babco modernization project, has just begun its work at the site which will be completed by the year 2022. On business to business exchange, the third Bahrain Korea Business Forum was successfully held here in the kingdom on 6 October this year. Another area I note with satisfaction is the cooperation in the health and medical field. On cultural side, the embassy in cooperation with the BACA successfully hosted Korean traditional music group Queen Performance on 2nd April this year and the first Korean-inspired photo exhibition, Beauty of Korea, from 24 till 30th September. In June, the first Korean drama, Love in the Moonlight, was aired by the Bahrain TV, and it will be re-aired in November. The annual Taekwondo Championship and the Korean Movie Weeks will be held in November and December, respectively. On the educational field, a number of students learning the Korean language is growing fast. We now have about 250 students attending the Korean language courses at the University of Bahrain, the Aulia University, and the Bahrain Polytechnic. In addition, the Embassy and the Spring Council of Environment will co-host the first Bahrain-Korea Environmental Cooperation Forum in, in November. This forum will provide an ample opportunity to discuss environmental cooperation between our two countries including how to cope with climate changes. I would like to conclude my remarks by sharing with you the situation on the Korean Peninsula. As President Moon Jae-in stated in his United Nations speech this year, I quote, peace on the Korean Peninsula remains an ongoing challenge, and peace on the peninsula and in the whole world are inextricably linked to each other. The Republic of Korea will continue dialogue with North Korea, and we'll find and make a way toward complete denuclearization and permanent peace while maintaining cooperation with UN member states, unquote. As you, have seen, as you have seen during the past three years, the development in the Korean Peninsula are sometimes dramatic, but sometimes slow. And still a long and bumpy road ahead of us until we achieve permanent peace. But I firmly believe that with the support from the international community and support from you all present here tonight, our shared goal of complete denuclearization and permanent peace on the Korean Peninsula is not unattainable. Thank you very much.